Hello and welcome. I am Kim, and together with my three dogs, Turok, Bobby, and Pilu, I have taken on the challenge of converting my sprinter van into a camper van for us to travel Europe in. Come along as we say yes to new van ventures. Hello, you wonderful people. Welcome back to another video. I just ordered felt. We call this stretch felt, I guess, and glue because I'm going to be fixing these parts. There's a couple of them. There's that part and then I have the wheel, what's it called, wheel cases? I don't know. Well, these also have to be uh, put felt on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, I'm going to put a 6mm Armaflex over here. And then uh, later I'm going to put the felt. I just ordered it, so it's going to be here a couple of days and then I'm going to have this look all nice and then when it looks nice I am going to build the cabinet here you guys my package arrived with the felt I've never seen this in real life so I'm very excited to see this let's open it up okay so I ordered it from this company which is a Dutch company and they sell a lot of stuff but I just needed this not sponsored by the way this is the glue. I was thinking like, wait, I didn't order this, but this is probably the glue. Look! This looks cool! I have no idea how I'm going to do this, but I'm really looking forward to it because it's going to be really cute. I like the color, though. I really like it. Uh, this color is Antoisite. Oh, I like it. I have no idea, but let's see how this works. So here's the glue I got. It is actually from their own company. It has, it can stand up to 110 degrees. Okay, so this should be enough for three. I don't know, for a lot of it. Okay. Well, let's go see how we're going to do this. <laughs> I'm kind of excited and kind of scared. <laughs> I think it has a front and the back because this is really soft and looks like they're all little rounds and this is kind of fluffy and a little bit more uh, hardened I don't know if you can see it but this one's a little bit more messy and this one's softer and they're all rounded so I think that this is the front here you can see the difference this is the front you can actually feel it better it's kind of soft and this is a bit rough so I think this is the front if it's not I'm going to use this as the front anyway because I like the way it looks, but I'm pretty sure this is the back. I didn't read anything about a front or a back, but this looks so nice. Look how cute it looks. Okay, so yesterday, I don't know if you can see this, but yesterday my dad and I um, put Armaflex on here, which I thought was really hard to get it on there really nice. It's a bit dark. Oh, this way you can see better. It's a bit dark. We put the Armaflex on there and also those parts. So I'm going to try and make it look nice uh, with the felt on. Oh, I have no idea. I've never done this before. I have no idea what to do, but I'll just try. We'll see. supposed to do this but I read somewhere that you are supposed to put glue on here as well as on the fabric so if I'm gonna spray this glue it's gonna probably go everywhere so I don't want that I got this piece it's way too much I think I'm not sure I think it's too much but I was hoping I think <laughs> because this is the part that um, is the most in the living space these back parts aren't that that important if there would be a little 
uh, part of the fabric cut but I would really like this part to be out of one um, whole piece so I'm, I'm hoping to use this so I am thinking to cut it but I think that if I it's probably really dark for the camera but I'm thinking of using one whole piece so I'm not cutting it anywhere in this fabric so what I'm going to do is cut I have to keep it lower for the light I have to cut, I'm going to cut it here and I'm going to cut it like that so that it won't uh, hang on it because it will probably pull it down. I have to just see because I have to keep enough fabric so that I can make a nice square over here. That's a b wider part. This is very narrow, but over there it's wider. But I think I'm just going to keep the one fabric and I have enough for all the other parts. Okay. In here. Is it... Okay, I'm just gonna cut it and we'll see. Okay, so I cut this. I have no idea. I hope I did it right. Yeah. So now I can start gluing it in. I have no idea how this works. Okay. So it says I have to both spray on here and on the fabric. But, I've never done this, so I would really like to spray one part at a time, which I don't really think will work. Because if I just spray here and then have to spray the back of the fabric, I think it's going to get messy. So I c you do have to spray and then leave it for 60 seconds. I, am go I don't have a good mask. I'm going to wear this. This is not going to do anything. But anyhow... I, I hope that once it's in there you can cut it, but I can't imagine that that will work. That you have to cut it before you put it on there, because how are people going to do that? You have to shake it. Very thorough. For whatever reason. the I got the glue that can hold up to a lot of heat, 110 degrees, because and the car can get warm. Hopefully we will never have this. But for instance, if I would ever leave my car somewhere and go somewhere else for a while and it's get hot in here, it gets hot in here, then if you don't have hot glue that will leave, that will hold up to a lot of temperature, then what's that? Um, it will all come off. Now it's not that big, so I don't think it will come off easy, but you never know. Okay, so I did this. I'm a little bit scared of the smell. Okay. I am going to uh, start in the corner and then I think make my way down. I have no idea. I don't know if I stick it on there, if it will fall off. I have no idea. I'm not going to be spraying glue all over the fabric before I put it on just a bit because I already know that it's going to stick on itself. I already see that happening. For everybody that's watching that has done this hundreds of times and is like, wait girl, what are you doing? I have no idea. I'm just doing this. I always like to think of uh, belong stocking. Like I've never done this before, so I think I can do it. <laughs> I'm just gonna try. I'm gonna put glue. <laughs> what is that? There's kids going crazy. Okay, I'm gonna put glue on here. Okay, I already know that somewhere along the line it's not gonna work, but I wanna try. I just wanna try. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's see. How does this glue spray? Oh, it sprays really cool. It sprays wide. Okay. Oh my god. This is gonna be weird. Look, it sprays really cool. Okay. 
okay. That's cool stuff. I need it to sit for about a minute. I have no idea how long it has been. Okay. It looks a little bit like party confetti out of a can. Doesn't feel sticky. That's weird. Did I put it? Can I take it off? Oh crap. Okay, so don't take it off. Put it on and leave it there. Oh crap. Okay, I'm stressing out. Okay. Okay, it's on here. Go in there. Go in there. Okay. needs to go This stuff is cool now I like it up to so far it's going great but I still have to cut it so we'll see okay oh. it exploded on the ceiling get it off nicely cut it's gonna be so pretty uh, okay 60 seconds how long has it been can't wait to rain.
morning. It's a new day. And uh, it's very cold. It was freezing last night. And here is the final result of my efforts yesterday. Um, I don't know if you can... Yeah, this way you can see it. I also did the back. And I was filming this, but the battery had died. <laughs> so it didn't film anything. But I will get a closer look for you guys. I absolutely loved working with this stuff. It's really soft. I did put some glue on here that I will try and... Um, get rid of soon but I'm going to build the seat today so I will take care of that later I don't know there's yeah this one you might see it was really nice working with I cut it along the rubber the only thing is that you do have to keep your knife sharp so I had to use like two knives breaking pieces off all the time but it looks so nice. I really love it. It's hard to video because it's... Yeah, that's better. Because of the light. Well, let me show you the back. I thought this would be a lot of work. And I was a little bit scared of working with the glue. But... Oh. But it worked great. I loved it. Okay, let me show you this side. So here's the back. Now this was already here. Some of it is glue, but a lot of it was just because it was used as a working van. But I love the way it looks. And there were some cables here and everything, and I just put it behind the Armaflex. And... Same here. Here are cables behind here. There's some glue on there. There were cables behind here and I just put armor flex over it and now put the fabric over so you don't really see them anymore. So what I did, I um, the, the place where I didn't really want to cut, I made it uh, fit snug and then here on the outside I cut it. Oh, it's so hard to get a video. So this is where I spilled the glue, so I'll have to clean that up. Oh, this light is horrible. It's hard to video because it's dark fabric. I also I also put it there, but I totally screwed up, so I'm not going to zoom in on that. I put it on there to protect the Armaflex, but I didn't do that right. So it looks good from over here, but it looks... Okay, let me show you. <laughs> it looks really bad. So I'll just keep it from over here so you won't see. <laughs> I also put it here. These, I This was just the last piece of glue I had left and the last piece of fabric. And same here. But... Um, I managed with, I, I did all of these, so the whole back, both wheels, and the front, with, um, I think, 1.4 meters of fabric, and it was 2 meters wide, and one can of spray, and um, I totally sprayed way too much, because I also sprayed on all the parts that I cut off. <laughs> So basically every part that I have cut off has been sprayed. So I sprayed way too much. But yeah, I really, really, I have a lot of excess. Um, I have a lot of fabric that I didn't use. You know, these were all just pieces that I cut that are left over. But I'm not going to use this for anything. So I'm just going to throw it out. But um, yeah, this is all, <laughs> this is kind of a lot. But yeah, I'm really happy with the outcome. It looks really nice. Oh, it's morning, so the light... I can't really show you. The light is horrible. But I'm really happy with the outcome. It looks super nice. It feels really soft. And I do understand why people use this more. Some people use it for the entire van. I wouldn't do that because I have dogs and allergies. So I do have to keep stuff clean. So a uh, smoother surface is better for me. But... Uh, 
I do see why people like it. It gives the metal, it gives it like a cozy, homey feeling because for one, there's the armor flex on it, which makes it, uh, which stops the cold from coming through. And then there's this fabric. It's just cozy. It's really nice. So yeah, I'll get some more footage when the light is better so you can see. But yeah, I'm really happy with this outcome. And if you would try, I haven't looked at any videos on how to do it. I just put it on there instead of cutting and it kind of worked. I probably did something wrong, but I don't care. There's more ways than when to do something. But yeah, I'm really happy. Let me see. It looks really nice. It's kind of weird that it's so dark, but they didn't have green, so it will be lighter gray or anything. So I just thought I'll make it dark. I like it. <laughs> Same here. So yeah, that's my story of how I finished the metal parts. And I'm going to be building the seat. So um, in the next video, I will be showing you how I made the seat. And I am making so many adjustments. And for everybody that's watching, that's like, why is she changing so many things? When I started this build, I thought I was going to keep my house. And just travel for a couple of months and then come back. But as I've been working more on the van and, you know, knowing how my life is going to be, I have decided that I don't want to have to come back here so i'm selling all my stuff and i'm living in the van which meant that i kind of had to adjust a couple of things uh so i'm changing some stuff but i only have two weeks to finish everything oh my god i only have two weeks <laughs> to finish everything so um my dad is coming to help because that would just speed things up and we are now going to change the seating and the table because I need a bigger table because I cannot play Colonista von Catan, which I don't know the Dutch, the English word, so I'll put it here, on my tiny table. And I really, really like that game. So I would really like that if I meet a person, if I meet someone, and we can play a game that I want to have the table big enough. Plus, I can have two people seated and eating dinner so if I would be traveling and one of my friends would come by plane to hang out with me for a while then it will be like a two-person van so it's becoming more of a two-person van instead of a one-person van so on our next video on Wednesday I think it'll be done by Wednesday and otherwise I'll just do an update on how far we've gotten I'll be um, showing you guys how we are going with the seats so <laughs> I'm getting a little bit tired, but just we're just getting there. So I just just the last couple of parts, so we'll get there. But uh, thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. And in the meantime, don't forget to say yes to new adventures. Mm -hmm.